morning there, Scorpio. Welcome to Zen Tarot. My name's Julie. I'm going to do a video for you, Scorpio, for the week of December 12th. Let's get right into it. Scorpio, what's going on? What is going on, Scorpio? Show the world the real you. I love that. Full moon in Aquarius. Wow. Show the world the real you. And your hard work is paying off. Wow, Scorpio, love this, love this. That is the new moon in Capricorn. Beautiful. All right, let's see what this is all about. What kind of animal spirit is walking? Oh my God, the scorpion, very fitting, right? But you're fired up about something, Scorpio. You are ready to strike, really fired up about this. And uh, wow, there's just no stopping you. I love this energy out already. At the bottom of the deck, the spider feeling at a crossroads here, but working so, so hard at it with the beaver and the hummingbird. You are about to show the world the real you. Take that mask off. You're about to take that mask off. Wow. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. It's like, I don't care what people think about me anymore. I'm just gonna be me. <laughs> Let's get you a Zentero card for up in the ether. Scorpio, if you like this video, don't forget to hit the like, share, and subscribe buttons. Let's get you a Zentero card. Ordinariness, the Eight of Pentacles. Wow, I love this. You're just working. You're working, working, working towards something here. Clinging to the past on the bottom of the deck. Having some trouble letting it go here, Scorpio. That's maybe why you're at a crossroads here. Do I, do I stay or do I go? Ordinariness. I love this card because who doesn't want an ordinary life like that? Just walking through the fields and enjoying the, <laughs> the fruits of their labor. I <laughs> love that. All right. So what are you thinking about? What is in the mind space of Scorpio? What is in the mind space? Ooh, high priestess. Really, really spiritual energy coming in. Spirit downloading some things to you. So you might have these ear ringing moments or these um, feeling off kilter, not quite yourself. It's the, it's the radio station changing on you, Scorpio. It's spirit downloading new information to you. So maybe it's light codes, whatever it is, it's opening that third eye chakra of yours and you're able to see things a lot differently. You're seeing beyond the veil here. You're really picking up on spirit here and all of the signals and all of the cues. Look at this soulmate energy coming through for you with the Six of Cups. I love that. Nostalgia, thinking back, really processing your life right now, really processing something. Wow, I think that's what Spirit is talking about with clinging to the past because you're thinking about the past so much right now and how you got to where you are. You're really trying to process some things. Spirit's giving you some downloads and you absolutely are feeling that. Even headaches, like it's really hard when you get those those downloads coming in. Ten of Wands, look at this spirit, really urging you to let it go though. Let the past go, walk away from it, and keep the memories of it. Just keep the memories of it. Don't keep the trauma of it. Don't keep the 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 sadness of it. Really, it's time to move on, Scorpio. It's time to move on and let the the good times come back in again. New memories to be formed here for you to look back on. You don't want to look back you know, in 10 years from now and have these same memories haunting you of what happened 10 years ago right now. So really, really try to um, move on from that. Let your mind be free of it. King of Swords, ooh, I love that. You're not so defensive anymore. You don't have your guard up. You're not so triggered at all. You've gained this wisdom from the spirits um, downloads here. You've got the owl wisdom coming in here. But what's really catching my eye is the dragon in the background, Scorpio. It's like you believing in magic again. And I really love this. Spirit is there with the birds. Spirit is always depicted as birds in the tarot. But yeah, you're starting to believe in magic magic again. You're stepping out of this ordinary life into this extraordinary life. And it's so beautiful with the things that you have learned along the way here. Now you're about to impart your wisdom here, what you have learned. And it's just so beautiful. It's very calming, very serene. It's not this giddy um, excitement yet. It's going to lead to that. This energy always leads to that. But it's more of a reflection of a looking back of what have I accomplished here? What have I done here? What can I be proud of myself here? So beautiful. I love that energy.
energy, that nostalgia coming through for you. It could be the holidays, but you're really reflecting now. Oh, look at all these cards that jump out now. The world, so that cycle is over. So that's why you're reflecting back now at all the things that you have experienced and gone through and um, absorbed now. Now you've transmuted a lot of that energies into the, into the new energies that are coming into you now. 23 is gonna be all about new experiences for you, Scorpio. There's not gonna be any real familiarity after you've walked away from so many things here. So it's gonna, it might put you out of your comfort zone here, but it's going to be the absolute right path to your joy and happiness and peace here and it opens up a lot of doors for you it opens up a lot of uh, avenues that you can take now decisions that are under your control I feel like in the past you didn't have much control over the decisions that were being made maybe someone was making the decisions for you or you just felt out of control but now spirits giving you that control back with the high priestess in the mind space here and it is all up to you and you're taking your power back you're taking your control back at least over your thoughts here and it's just so beautiful it leads to victory it leads to um, stardom the superstar that you are but it leads to victory this this peak back this nostalgia this nostalgic look back here. It leads to victory for you. It allows you to process some of the things maybe you weren't able to process before. It was just seemed too overwhelming for you to really go back and to uh, process here. But don't cling to it, Scorpio. Don't cling to it. Don't let it get in your way. You've got to process it and then move along. Keep moving forward into this miracle that's about to happen for you, this magic period that's about to come in for you and then the exhilaration does come and then the excitement comes and you're giddy again and you're young again and you're making decisions again that are very wise it's like i'm back i'm back i got it back i took control back of my of my thoughts here wow love this love this what's in the heart space what are you feeling scorpio what are you feeling Knight of Swords, look at you running forward with the messages now. It's like, I have something to say. <laughs> Scorpio's got something to say. And you're going to say it. You're going to say it. You're not holding back now. You're not filtering yourself. You're not so worried about the reaction of others to your words here. So, wow, that's just so beautiful. You really are showing the world the real you, standing in your true authentic self here, Scorpio. Oh my God, it's so beautiful is a spotlight on you look at the major arcana coming through with the chariot cancer energy coming through but there's that moving on merging the dark with the light merging the energies now not fighting them not resisting them not pretending they didn't happen but merging them to move forward into this new cycle here into that brand new day here Oh my God, it's so beautiful. You're on the right road now. You're on the right path now. You've, you've taken the right um, way now. So when you had choices of which way to go, you chose correctly here, Scorpio. You chose correctly. You were right. What else? This is big, big changes for you. Huge changes for you. 23 is going to bring in so many big changes for you. <laughs> I can't wait to see. Queen of Swords and King of Swords. There's the point counterpoint now. Now you've got the balance in your mind and the balance in your heart. Now you see all sides of it. Like I said, you're not resisting anything. You're not pretending anything didn't happen or pushing it under the rug. You're looking straight at it. It's like you're looking the devil right in the eye right now, Scorpio, and you're saying, bring it on. I have battled. I have, I have won. And so you're just so sure of yourself here. And it's beautiful. It's beautiful because you should be sure of yourself. You were absolutely right to do the things that you did. The the choices you made were absolutely correct. Oh my. I mean, there's no bad choices. There's just lessons. So I think you're just kind of coming into an understanding of that, that it didn't have to be so crucial that you made the right choice. There is no right choice or wrong choice. There's just right for the moment, right? There's just the, what can I do right now with the, with the, uh, with the resources I have in the moment. And so that's exactly what changed everything for you. It shifted you out of this, um, this need to control it, this need to control it. You detached from the outcome of it. Knight of Wands, wow, you're really getting your fire back here. You're really getting that passion back. Like I said, it does. It seems so serene right now. It's like the calm before the storm. I mean, Scorpio, you're the storm. You are going to surprise a lot of people with who you are. I don't think people really know who you are, and you're really revealing it now. 
and they're loving it. They're loving you. So I'm going to pull some energy on top of you and see what people are reacting to you. But boy, I sure love it. Knight of Pentacles, slow moving energy, but it had to gain momentum. You can't just go from from depression into joy. It doesn't work that way. You have to climb the emotional scale and that's what you've done here with the Knight of Pentacles in the heart space. You've climbed the emotional scale out and it's beautiful. Now you see the sunrise. Now you see a brighter day here because you just kept enduring. You just kept going. You just kept walking that path. Even if it was by yourself, you didn't care. You, you just had this feeling, I've got to do this. I've got to go this place. I've got to go there. I've got to... And you just knew it. You just used your gut. It was spirit downloading into you, Scorpio. I, I, you probably know that because you're watching a tarot card reading. So you know it's all about energy and shifting the energy. And that's exactly what you did. Oh, look at this with the nine of swords. There's that grief and heartbreak that you really shifted out of, that you took that chariot out of. It's really, really great that... Um, you managed to process that. You processed it. You looked at it. That's what I mean. You looked right at it. You didn't ignore it. You didn't uh, ignore the hard times. You you understood that, yeah, these are hard times. You weren't Pollyanna by any means, but you weren't, um, you weren't, you didn't give up either. You did not give up. And now it's all paying off because now your thoughts have shifted. Now the law of attraction is at play here and you are really rising up and through and out. Eight of swords. This was you getting up in your own head about that cycle, about what had happened, about how hard it was, about how you were all alone, about um, all of the problems, all of the things that needed to be fixed. It was very, very overwhelming for you. But then something happened, Scorpio, where you started looking back, you started reflecting on your life, and you said, you know what, I didn't do too bad there. I made a really good decision there, and, and here I am, and look how far I've come. And you started seeing the good in your life, and you started appreciating the good in your life, really chased away that grief and that sadness here and that feeling of isolation, that feeling of being up at night, worried about what you were going to do. Now look at this. Here comes the nine of cups. Your wish is fulfilled. Your wish is granted here. So yeah, it was just the ending of that cycle. It put you into a, a little bit of a crossroads. Should I stay? Should I stay with the familiar? Should I stay with the comfortable? Or should I jump into the unknown and take a leap of faith on myself? And you do that. You jump into the unknown and it's your wish fulfilled. Granted. Wish granted because you took a risk on yourself. Look at this with the Ten of Pentacles, this happy home, this abundant home, people around you now, connections around you now, people wanting to be um, seen by you and heard by you, and, and just a lot of laughter now, a lot more fun than you've had in a very long time coming for you, Scorpio, and that is beautiful to see because you're just feeling so at ease. There's this feeling of, I'm at ease, I'm home, I'm home. And you have this feeling of home. It could be somewhere you've never seen or lived or known about before, but you take this leap of faith and you go somewhere new. You go somewhere new in your thoughts and in your heart and in your foundation here. And it feels like home. It's like, oh boy, I'm so glad I did that. And it just makes you feel so safe, so anchored. I <laughs> love that. Give you your passion back with the Page of Wands. And look how fast this is coming for you with the Eight of Wands. It's all about action. It's time to move, Scorpio. It's time to move. Take action now. Don't just dream about this happier day, this brighter future, this new cycle. You can feel it. I know you can with the chariot in your heart space. That something is different now. You're, you're, you're waking up differently. There's a new outlook when you wake up. There's new passion for you to think about now in the mornings. And um, it gets you just so fired up now. Now you're really excited. Now you're really excited to show the world who you are and you can't wait to jump into it it's kind of a portal you jump through here oh it's beautiful 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 four of cups brings you out of apathy and into comfort real real comfort here Scorpio I love this a real home a real home that you can call home and just feel at home surrounded by people who love you going to feel a little uncomfortable because I think you're a little used to being on your own here, to being self-sufficient here. Even if you've been with someone for years and years, you've had to be very, very self-sufficient here. But look at this, the King of Pentacles, somebody really stepping up to support you now. Wow. 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 I love that because you're the King of Swords and they're the King of Pentacles. So it's security. It's it's not the King of Cups who's not telling you how they feel about you. They're, they're not. The King of Pentacles is very... Um, 
uh, forthcoming with his feelings because he's feeling very comfortable. He's, he's a comfortable king. He's got tangible things he's holding on to and that makes him feel very, very safe. So king of swords, you've got these tangible thoughts. You've got this new shift in your thought process here. And so that's what the king of pentacles is picking up on here. So not about gender. It is absolutely about energy. Ooh, death and rebirth. This person, this soulmate of yours, because it's sitting on your six of cups, is going through death and rebirth as well. So, wow, I love this. I love this. Somebody new coming in for you. Somebody new. If, if it's somebody you've been with for a very long time, they've changed overnight. I mean, they've changed as much as you have. They've transformed some past energies because it's on the six of cups, that death and rebirth. And, um, and uh, yeah, they've they've transformed with you. If it's someone you've been with, if it's not someone you've been with, it's someone who's gone through some very very similar experiences as you. Feels about the same about their past as you do, and what has happened, and um, just really similar to you, similar ener energy to you. But they've transmuted that energy. They have been the they have taken the negative and the positive and merged it as well with the death and rebirth here. So. A great match, a really great match coming in for you. This just wants to come out. The Three of Cups, so I'm wondering if this is a friend of yours or somebody you've been um, connected to for a very long time with the Six of Cups, but now it's growing into something more or it's something deepening or it's something that's really enriching your life here. It makes you feel very celebratory, very, very happy, their energy when they come in with this new energy that they have after their death and rebirth. So. Um, like I said, if it's someone you've known for years, they're not the same person, but neither are you. And um, if it's somebody you've never met, they're not the same person. If you would have met them when they were that person, the two of you wouldn't have connected. You wouldn't have um, uh, matched the way that you are now. Two of Wands, this person is traveling. This person is planning and preparing for a future here. So I love that. They're on this other side of it now. They're on the other side of their cycle now too. So I love that really do love that and they're looking to this friendship group so I have a feeling um, it's a friend of yours or it's uh, someone entering the friendship group that you meet through them seven of pentacles wow this person has been hard at work but not gaining much from it so they're very very um, okay with money they don't have a whole lot of money um, issues going on but they have emotional issues going on where they can't seem to connect with people at the workplace they can't seem to find their balance here or find their niche when it came to the groups and the clicks and the, they just felt like an outsider always looking in on the clicks here so you felt like that in the past here too you felt like kind of an outsider with the nine of swords and the knight of pentacles like you were um, not included in the clicks or not in, in invited into the clubs and um, they were feeling the same exact way they were feeling left out knight of swords look at this i love this because they're coming in with their own words now too to break free of that like maybe they were not revealing who they really were for fear of rejection and that was just keeping them rejected because no one got to get to know them and so now people are getting to know them people are he's this knight is absolutely rushing forward with a message so this person in your surroundings this soulmate energy because it's right underneath the six of cups is really expressing themselves and showing the world who they are now they're not holding back any longer the fear of rejection page of swords look at this they watch you they watch you because it's sitting on your queen of swords so this person already knows who you are they've at least heard of you could be like i said someone you've been with for quite some time that you've gone through this transformation or you knew each other as schoolmates and you both went through these long experiences or these this decade of experiences and now you're meeting up again or you're you're meeting each other again and it, it doesn't even have to be romantic it's just this true soulmate connection that lifts your spirit and lifts theirs but they keep their eye on you they they want to know this new you here they're very very interested in who you are Queen of Pentacles. Wow, now you've got the point counterpoint with the Queen of Swords, King of Swords, and the Queen of Pentacles, King of Pentacles. Very, very balanced with each other. There's some connection in your midst here, Scorpio, that is very balanced, has gone through a lot of the same things that you've gone through here, learned a lot of the same karmic lessons, been through the depression and the, the grief and the guilt and the rejection and just so many things that you have gone through and um, really wanting to connect now and to get to know you, this new you. So I think you're going to be very interested in getting to know them as well. 
eight of cups walking away from the grief and the sorrow here they have walked away from something they've left something behind and that really really hurt them it really was their death and rebirth to leave this the situation behind but they had to walk away from it it was it was detrimental to their well-being to walk away from it so they walked away from something and they're on this new journey this new path they're a new person they have really really changed and um are just not the person they used to be <laughs> five of pentacles poverty mentality they were living in this poverty mentality up in their head just like you when it came to money money was um the, why they were at the place that they were at they thought they needed it to make their money they didn't know there were other avenues to make that money come in and and they just thought maybe the road to success was through suffering a lot of times that's what's instilled in us is that if we don't suffer we don't gain great rewards here and so um, I think they fell into that and now they're they're coming out of that and they're thinking there is no need to suffer why am I doing this to myself why am I punishing myself for not being where I thought I would be and so they're easing up on themselves here and really um, walking away from that mentality that um, of their worthiness they're not letting anyone dictate their worthiness and what they're worth any longer and they walked away from it Oh, look at this temperance archangel Michael comes through in their foundation. They're very spiritual. They're very spiritual. Spirit is replenishing them right now and giving them the strength to keep moving on. I think they're feeling a little beat up by that past experience here. But boy, they are looking into this happy home, this secure life, this this friendship, this uh, bond, this real, real bond with somebody who understands them and really gets them and makes them laugh and doesn't point out all the problems all the time. Is always looking for a solution and really light about the problems anyway even if there are problems this person is very light about them very light-hearted about them and you know just knows everything will work out because it, it always does but they had to come to this realization from this death and rebirth so it wasn't easy for them to get here it's just that you're getting to know them after they've already arrived there after they've already arrived at this oh, okay everything's okay and we, we can work this out it's not you know oh my god what are we gonna do <laughs> who needs that Four of Pentacles and Nine of Pentacles. Yeah, they're very balanced with money. Like I said, they have an independence when it comes to money. I don't know that it's one source of income. It's many sources of income that they have going on. They're very, very busy. Very, very busy, this person. And... Um, but yeah, you turn their head, you it's it's they can feel it. There's a soul connection here, a, a twin flame energy coming through. And again, I, I it's not even about romance, it's about connection here and a true bond, a bond, a, and that can absolutely lead to romance. It it does. That's how it starts, right? Is a friendship, is a bond. If it doesn't start that way, it goes nowhere. So that's exactly how it starts. So if you're single and looking to connect with someone, that person is here. If you're with someone and haven't felt connected to this person in a long time or felt disconnected, something happened, something got in the way here, you're both completely different and are coming back together as completely different people. So it's a new relationship anyway. It's brand new for both of you. So I love that. Two of Pentacles. There's that juggling in and out, in and out. Should I stay or should I go? And uh, they're going, they're going. They're not having anything stop them just like you. Wow, I love this. I love this. Very independent person. Could be an earth sign, Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo. Seems more Taurus energy on the board, but that really means nothing. It's just energy. And I feel like we all flow into all of the signs uh, at any given moment in our lives, you know, I'm a Taurus sun, but I can be a Libra uh, sun at four o'clock in the afternoon. It's just the energy. It's just the shifting of energy throughout all of us. So uh, just a general read here, but I love this Scorpio. I really love this. All right. So let me know if this resonates with you at all. And if you like this reading, don't forget to hit the like, share, and subscribe buttons. I hope you have a fantastical week. Look at the King of Swords on the bottom of the deck. Wow, I love this person. All right, Scorpio, um, I will definitely tune in with you soon.